Hello, how's it going? Soul Tire here, and I'm bringing you part 25 of my Romus Rectum 3 Let's Play. As you can see, I'm playing as the Bell J. And uh, previously, we'd just taken this um, settlement here, Aginon. And then uh, now I'm looking to start um, expanding and progressing a bit more aggressively. Um, but first, I've got a couple of things I need to do. Um, I first need, I want to get a spy out to this uh, part of the world here, part of Europe here, to have a look at what's happening. I've got a feeling that the Kimbri, although they're my allies, um, they're going to become a threat, I think, soon. Um, I feel that they're moving in on these independent tribes here and taking their settlements. And uh, maybe even the boy, oh, where's the boy? Got, what's that? Uh, Cimbrian there, look. Um, that's a boy there. And they're our allies too. So they may be contesting each other for, for the, the settlements out here because I haven't made any inroads in that direction. Which is, I never really had much chance because I was defending so deeply against the Romans, against the Romani. Now, if they've, if they're moving in here, obviously I've got the fog of war on. I can't see anything, so I need to spy out there. And uh, what I want to do is just put a series of forts all down uh, the, at the river crossings here. Maybe about, I don't know, about half a dozen, but the only thing, they're a bit expensive, they're about a grand a piece. And, um, but they'll be valuable should I get attacked, because they'll hold up any attack on my settlements, because they'll have to take the forts first, and that'll buy me time to get an army to that, to the critical point. So that, that's, that, from a defensive point of view, that is the plan there. Now then, if we attack, and if... Where is it? Um, there we go, Gergovia. Now, the Verna only have this one settlement left, uh, which is sort of like, got a fair, fair few in it, it's got half a stack in it, but they've also got two armies that are out here, and again, I can't see them, uh, because the fog of war is on, but I'm, I, I remember they'd moved away a little bit, I think, in this direction. Now, if, if if I can get a spy in here, if we can take this settlement, my plan is to try and get a spy in there. And so that I can attack it without having to besiege it. And if we can capture that, destroy them, they will destroy the, the faction in fact. And of course the armies will turn to rebels. We'll still have to fight them, but I don't. I think they'll be more vulnerable as rebels than as the Averni. I'm not sure on that one, I'm just having a sort of like, what, what, an educated guess on it. Eh, uh, crikey. There's so much to remember in this mod when you're playing it. Um, I mean, it is a fantastic mod. There's no doubt. It was, the, in my opinion, the best mod for Rome Total War 1. Um, it's just got so much content, so immersive, and... Um, you know, the thing is, I find there's not a lot of people play it on Let's Play, and I think maybe that's the reason why. Maybe it takes too long, because a lot of YouTubers, Let's Players, uh, sort of like, make money out of it, you know, or even some of them might be making, a, you know, making a living out of it, you know. And um, understandably, they can't have... They, they won't want Let's Plays that last that long, because... The, the viewing figures will drop as it the longer it goes on the the, the dwindle and um, short campaigns and stuff like that and um, custom battles and that attract a lot of viewers and that's where they make their money but there is one guy who very kindly gave me a shout out on his channel and uh, we've been having a bit of dialogue recently um, with me being sort of like new to this and his name is um, Alan Knight and I recommend you go and have a look at, the, at this guy. This guy has actually played 106 episodes of his campaign. Amazing. He's, he, you know, he's, he's, he's very, very dedicated to it. I mean, he loves it as much as I do. And um, he's a brilliant narrator. He explains a lot of things as, he, as he's actually playing his battles. So much so that he sometimes loses the plot a little bit, to, to be fair, you know. But not, not that that's a critical... Uh, comment, it, it's just how deeply he gets involved in it, 
But, you know, I'll recommend it for him. Like I say, I'm, you know, I'll pay back a shout out and, and because he's very, very good. He's a very good narrator, like I say, and he explains everything he's doing, legion names, uh, commander's names. He's better, much better than I am. He just seems to have a knack for it. He's very, very good. His name's Alan Knight. Stick it in the search box and go and have a look. Uh, right then, now, what I'm going to do is I'll bring my, sp I've got a spy and agent on, uh, here, let's just pop you out for a minute now, if I bring you around to Gergovia and, oh hold on a minute, where the hell did you, where did that come from, crikey, <laughs> Oh, it, like I said, there's just so many things happening. It's, it's such a brilliant mod. Mod, it really is. They, they, they must have been hidden. It uh, must be hidden in a forest somewhere. But I, I didn't think that would be possible to get that close without them being seen. It's uh, just shows you. Right, let's have a look at what I got then. I mean, it's not unbeatable. I mean, that's for sure. But they've got three family members there. Is that three family members? Is it yeah, three family members. Right. Um, oh, well, I may have to come out of the settlement and attack them, which I don't want to do if they're going to be in a forest. Okay, well, where's my spy? Uh, I want to get him up here and find out exactly where... Uh, I'm sure they went north, but I'll bring them over here first of all, like I was going to do, just to double-check. No? Can't see them. Have they gone up in... Oh, hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on. Have they gone into my... The, the, there's one there. Is it, have they gone into my territory? On my way. Oh, I can't take them any further than that. Alright, so they're close enough at hand to defend us if I besiege it. So what I'm going to do is next turn I'm going to try and get my spy in there and see if he can open the gates if I've got a high percentage chance of opening those gates then we'll take uh, uh, some Ox uh, Sa Saxonus's uh, army across and we'll attack it but at the moment I ain't got any money to do anything uh, to retrain troops so let's just uh, do a bit of tidying up first of all here, because these are pretty, uh, and a bit decimated from that last battle. Okay. Yes. Uh, now then. Yes. Well, I, I think I'll stay in the settlement and see if they want to attack General. me, and I'll. Have I got enough General. movement to send? the depleted Orders. troops Orders. back to uh, Avanicum. Okay, and then we can retrain them when we've got some money. Uh, what else do I want to do? I don't think there's a heck of a lot General. more I can do. Um, I'm not going to attack these because if I can get into the settlement if I can get a spy in there and open the gates and we can attack it straight away without besieging it, then if we defeat that, then they will become rebels and the Vernia will be exterminated. Um, I mean, I'll still have to fight these rebels, but they'll be more vulnerable. They won't. I don't think they'll be as strong as... as look at this. Jesus. Goodness me. Eight units of Averni Chieftain Cavalry. A bit short on other stuff, but and a bit weak in other places. But look at the upgrades they've got, though. All silvers. Look. Right. So I don't want to attack them in a minute because I, I, I'm no doubt. You know, I, I've got confidence that I can beat them. And I think even with my limited tactical knowledge, I could um, defeat them. But they'll be, I'm sure they'll be easier as rebels. Okay, um, anything else? Uh, Britannia. 
we've got them there, they're not causing any devastation that I can see, so we can leave that till I'm ready uh, to do something about it. I just need to watch out for settlements. Um, the taxes are too high. I need to watch these ones, they're okay, everything's okay up in Britannia. Hold on. I saw this. We're still okay at 100%, I think. Atona's okay. Um, now, another thing that, and, and, uh, about how immersive this is, I totally forgot that my governor in here got assassinated. <laughs> I just, I, I mean, I, I, I remember seeing it at the corner of my eye when I went down the, the, the icons that left the information. Well, the, the news reports, as I call it. Um, assassinated. I never really took it on board and I haven't got any money to get one in there. So, right, um, I think that's enough talk for now. Let's make the next time. Alright, and there's this as well, of course. These Galicky, Galicky, um Navy just keep blockading my ports. Um, it seems that that is one part that does seem a bit nonsensical to me because they're all single ships and um, that all seems just a bit pointless, but I'm glad that I built a navy, and uh, because it's able to deal with these blockades, it doesn't impact on my economy. So we'll get them back to here. They'll need retrained. Not that they've lost many, but they still like to keep them full strength. And there we go. See what I mean? Just if they're, they're interfering with the sea trade. Even though you don't see it, it's sort of, you, you're blind to it. They are. Uh, oh, lemon, lemon, let's see. Drop his taxes down, we don't want them um, rioting. Damage has been done. Well, there's a lot of uh, construction being done, so it's another thing I need to get on to. And uh, why is it every I get somebody blinking you all the time? It's always a, it's always in cameo loading them. That's another thing. All right, so let's let's get done what I can get done. Starting with, they need a, a I like to, a, a governor in each of my settlements, um, especially with a city standard. Town maybe doesn't matter so much, but large town maybe. But I've got one in there, there's no point in taking them out because there's already a regional governor and you lose money when you take them out after they become a regional governor. Um, no, I don't think I'll put the f I don't think I'll put the forts in yet, maybe in another couple of turns. Um, is there anybody else needs Oh, he needs some uh, just some garrison to help keep public order. Good. That ship can't do nothing about him at the moment. Um, I just make sure they've all got governors. The Brecht hasn't got a governor. There we are. Get him in there. It's quite a big settlement. Was Dunnan hasn't got a governor. Let's get him recruited. Um, oh, that have they gone? I don't want him being regional governor. He's a good commander. All right, so we'll get get him recruited there. We'll retrain those units in Avaricum. And maybe get them an extra one of the. Oh, of course, it's taking up too much money. No, it isn't. I think that should be fine. Actually, no. I don't need another one of them champions yet. They're just to make things look pretty. Victorious. Nah, they're not better than the Bell of Arch, are they? Oh possibly better attack. 14 but 26 defence. 11, 10. 
missile attacks the same Chaz bonus 24 yeah they could be quite useful some of them pictonies okay I think I'm doing I've got everything done now right Life's done in oh they haven't got uh, quickly back to Avaricum change of tic tacs uh, we don't need that spear unit actually at the minute see if that's enough money for a there we go ok so I got a governor for that settlement ok and we're still doing alright money wise now then where's my spy chance of success 100% well in you go my son there's an 80% chance that they will manage to open the gates if I attack this is what I wanted now fingers crossed oh yeah beauty in you go my son right let's see what they've got oh goodness me all silvers look at this I know there's nothing there nothing much there two units of skirmishers peltas heavy swordsmen Averni champions this will not be easy no matter how much I've outnumbered I mean I've got good strong units myself but they're stronger we should win it but it won't be that easy I'll take a few casualties in we go Alright then, Cochrane's forgot to have my headphones on. Yeah, that's better. Time to shed the blood of I mean, look at the detail here. I mean, that is really brilliant. You consider how old Rome Total War is. And even this, this mod itself is about, oh, I don't know, is it six, seven years old? Look at the detail, it's fantastic. If only, see, uh, the Creative Assembly taking stock of this, kept their Warscape engine and used in the graphics that they got for Rome too. Just think how good that could have been. Amazing. Look at this. Fantastic. Okay. Right. Now then. I can't see where they're at at the moment there. So, where's my slingers? Right, we start off with you there. I don't know who will send in first, but there'll be a... Uh... Let me see, should I send in the spearmen first? We won't have much use for these for a while, I don't think. In settlements, um, I've learned to, I'm learning to not to quite use cavalry so much. Um, right, let's go and see where they're at. What we've got up on the so this is just excuse me, this is just a bit jerky. I says, um, I mean, I'm using my hotkeys here, which isn't always that easy for me because uh, the problem I have with my nerves. I've got um, damaged nerves and, and down my left side which make it quite a little bit un uncomfortable using the keypad a lot. And that's for Peltas, what's down here? Spearman. Okay. Uh, what are these? Light Spearman. Light Spearman, where's that other unit of um, Peltas? 
So the two units of Peltas are on the left side facing me. Um, right, well, I think this is a job for those naked spearmen in there. Batavian. I think we'll... Hold on boys, I don't want... I thought I'd take them off fire at will. Don't want you, you didn't want them using them up. Damn, silly man. See what I mean? They're getting so immersed. You know, you, you miss things that are going on underneath your very nose. Um, I don't need... We'll send them in. No, actually, alt. What I'm going to do is try and get these up here. Swordsman, that's the best bet. This might seem a bit impossible. Yeah. Okay. This, this is really um, not easy to do, believe me, to be able to get these in there. Because the pathfinding might not allow them. Where on earth are they going? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> ah, too much to expect, wasn't it? They're just positioned perfectly. Go and see if you can get over there. You see if you can get over here. No, I can't get past them. I thought it might be too much to ask. They've already lost about 35 men, look. They'll, chuck, they'll start chucking their javelins. No, they haven't. So who's killing them then? Because that's just not... We're through the gate, so they can't be firing at us. Oh no, they are. They've still got control of it. This is why I wanted these men up these men up here. And they're not going. Come on. You can see the pathfinding's a bugger. Can't get them up there. Look. I sent them over there and they're just not going. No matter what I try, I'm just not going. Oh, Jesus. oh, there they are, there. What the hell's going on? Oh, dear. I had them out of the picture, that's why I didn't see them. I mean, look where they're running to. I'm trying to send them up here, you see. And this is the trouble with us being a beater. And the fact that they've added all these these buildings. This is all the new buildings. This is all new walls. It's different, and it, and it's really messed with the pathfinding. I mean, sometimes you used to have pathfinding problems there anyway. I mean, when they used to only have this inner wall sort of thing, I mean, uh, uh, and or the thinner outer wall, and they used to run up the bank there, and that was the only trouble with with them um, with it sometimes. Uh, it didn't happen so much in stone buildings, like in if you were fighting in say, Asia Minor or uh, Greece or whatever. But with barbarian settlements, you had seen hill forts, uh, uh, they're called. This is where you had the problems with the pathfinding in 2.6, which is which I never mentioned actually. That fellow's talking about Alan Knight. I don't think I mentioned he actually plays 2.6, not 3. Yeah, right, up these go, guys. Where did the rest of them go? I'm sure that's not all there was. Look, I, I want them to attack up there. These guys are not even getting in. This is 
really, really disconcerting. How's that for a big word there? Eh? And it's pissing me off, <laughs> to be quite frank. Just push these guys back here. Get you up the there. Warriors have taken the walls. Now the streets will run with blood. Because they're killing our men outside the gates. What's going on? Just go. Up there. Where's he going? This is so frustrating. Because this could cost me the battle, this, this little... This pathfinding glitch here. Just attack them. Come on. Come on. In you come the whole lot. In and attack them. Right. Come on now. Because um, I'm losing my patience now. I'm just going to have to accept I'm going to take casualties for the sake of getting through this um, this little glitch. I don't have no choice. I think I should have sent the spearmen in because these Batavians are hard. I can't train them unless I send them back to, um, I think, um, British Banton's the only place I can free train them. So it don't matter. I'll, I'll use them in another capacity. And I'll stick to the troops that I can train. I've taken so long to win this battle. I need to use my little, uh, my little trick of running them through the units, then engaging them. This is what I was saying earlier that um, they play some such the upgrades to armor and experience play such a, a pivotal part in, in, in each unit and when it comes to battling. It, the, 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 you can have the strongest unit but have low upgrades against a weaker unit with high upgrades and you'll lose. It is just astonishing how long it has taken me to defeat this one unit of spearmen, look, because of the upgrades that I have. And the fact that I'm playing on very hard difficulty, which gives them a plus seven in attack and defence anyway. And added to that, the problems I'm, have, I'm having with um, the pathfinding. Look at this, is just a Terrible. You put them on there, on guard, they'd also get too tired. Up here, get yous up here. And you fellas. There, we have to destroy these first. I think what I should have done actually was I should have sent. I, I did think about it before I started the attack, but I was, actually I was too busy sort of narrating and what I was doing. That I forgot to send some settlements, uh, settlements, units down to the other end of the settlement and come in through the other gate there. And I should have done that. Attack from the other side, when I, especially when there's so many up here. These guys are struggling. I've got them on guard, which will won't tire them out quite so much. Get you, you over there. You'll need to come and support them. And then I think I'll bring the spearmen in now. And uh, we'll send them down. Where's these slingers? Bring them in fast as well. I've got it on double speed. I don't want to overcook it by putting it on triple speed because sometimes you get a lot of lag that way. Maybe at the end of a, when a battle is just dragging out too long, the melee is dragging out too long, um, you can always um, triple speed it then just to, to 
finish off the melee. Right, where's them? Um, slingers. Send them up there. How are we doing? Side. I think that should be enough to take care of this. Okay. Bring that unit of swords down here just in case I need them. Let's get our general in. Let's get all the cavalry in. How are we doing here? You can attack now. Shoot at them and you shoot at them. I don't even know why. Why are they moving? Why are you moving? I haven't sent you to move. Got you on. Stay still. Can you just shoot at them? That's what I want you to do. Yeah, they're breaking now. They're bre they've all broken. Good. Job done. Alright, matey. You can get yourself in here. General, get in here for the morale boost. Okay, that's this battle one now, I reckon. We've pretty much won this. that fresh unit of um ah, yeah you guys and that's it it's pretty much one now let's get finish them off can stop. Be general up here. And uh, I know it's a bit of overkill but I just want to get it over with if I can. We've quite a bit of cavalry there. So, if we can get these guys down here, it'd be great. We can take care of business that way. get you guys down here because there's two, there's two um, generals in there, I believe, aren't there? Two family members. So they're going to take a bit of beating. And these guys in there, there. Get my guy, my general down. 
Saxon was, whatever his name is. Come on, General, I never sent you into attack. Back out. Out. Bit impetuous. Don't be like that with me. I'm the leader here. Don't forget it. Just a bad thing then. Well, there's quite a lot of men though, looks like. Okay. There you are. A little bit of eye candy for the battle voyeurs. Pretty cool shield, mind you, aren't they? That, that, um, what are they doing? A very heavy, no, it's them. I don't know, a very heavy sword. Man. There's one down. I've lost in my army. That's quite a lot. Victory. Done. Spasios again. That's two Spasios. What's going on? <laughs> Alright. Now it's time for the triple uh, Not many left. Sixty two of mine there in that unit alone. The damage I've took quite a lot, you know. They've got ninety one left. Speed it off. A bit of morale call to help me bloody hurry up. Easy for him to, to die, but they, we, we should have got him overwhelmed by now. Come on, guys. I mean, he must be absolutely knackered, dead on the feet, and just should just kill him. There we go. So, even Stevens, in terms of. Uh, the amount of losses that we had, which um, I did say before the battle was, you know, that it was pretty predictable that I'd take high losses because of the uh, the upgrades that the enemy had. But the main thing is, we've taken the settlement and that should be the end of the Averni. And those two Averni armies should turn to rebel. 
and hopefully it will be easier to defeat. You won't, but say, like I said, oh, we're playing on very hard, and very hard gives them all your enemies, the AI uh, factions, um, plus seven in bon a plus seven bonus in attack and defense. So and and high got a higher morale. It's always tough to overcome them. I mean, I know you're playing against an AI and it's not a human. It's not quite the same. Oh, what's this? Population dispersed. Denari gained. Denari gained from Luke. We'll have the money. Very welcome. And we'll just slowly build this. I mean, this will have... Oh look, it's got an advanced Iron Age centre, great hall of heroes, look what I can, I can train from here, brilliant, it's a killer on the corner, uh, oh the, the population not dropped that much, but I'm going to whack the taxis through the roof, because that population growth is too quick, I want to try and do something to sort of like slow that population down, Um. So recruiting a lot of um, armies from here will be the way. There we go. They can all be retrained. Uh, construction. No, we don't want rid of. No, we don't want rid of. Fountain. Oh, we can use all this. Castrum, that's no good to us. That's. Uh, oh no, I've got to leave it. Castrum's Roman, is it not? Is it? I thought Castrum was Roman. Temple complex, weapons, metal, limport, small treasury, anything else? Mercenary units. Victorians, oh, no pictures, damn me. Oh, yeah, I've got Victorians already. Uh, Alright, rural community control, regional focus has already been there. Gain stories for some. Yeah, you always need that. When you're at base, large treasure expeditions. Alright, we'll take a look at that uh, next time when they come back. So there we go, and they've turned to rebel. And it looks like, where's, uh, can I get my spy up there? Come and have a look at him, mate. All those cavalry, the war chieftains are all dead, they've all disappeared. Uh, happy days! <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you can back and watch part 26. I quite enjoyed this session actually, so, uh, well, I enjoy them all cause, because of my, my love for this mod, but um, I hope you've been entertained by that, and uh, yeah, come and join me and watch again part 26. Bye.